UFC CEO Dana White has addressed recent comments made by UFC heavyweight champion John Jones, who suggested that his upcoming fight against Stipe Miocic at UFC 309 could be his last. The highly anticipated bout, scheduled for November 16, will see Jones defend his heavyweight title for the first time, but the champion hinted this fight might mark the end of his illustrious career. Jones told Clocked and Loaded, This is going to be the last time, more than likely. These remarks have sparked speculation about whether the legendary fighter will indeed retire after UFC 309. White, speaking after the Contender Series event on Tuesday, remained unfazed by Jones' retirement talk, saying, You got to figure out what happens in this fight. See how this fight plays out and then we'll go from there. Fans are hopeful that if John Jones emerges victorious against Stipe Miocic, he might be enticed to stick around for a highly anticipated fight against Tom Aspinall, one of the top rising contenders in the heavyweight division. This potential matchup has generated significant excitement, as it would pit Jones against a new generation of fighters. However, White acknowledged that retirement is still very much a possibility, especially depending on the outcome of the UFC 309 bout. Before the fight was even booked, rumors circulated that Jones might hang up his gloves after the event. At the UFC 304 post-fight press conference, White shared his thoughts on the situation. John Jones is no dummy. John Jones has a very high fight IQ. He knows what Aspinall's got and what he's about. I think we're going to have to see what happens in this fight with Stipe Miocic, see where John's head is. White added that the decision could also be influenced by Miocic's performance. If Miocic wins, he probably will retire. But I think if John Jones wins, that competitive spirit that he has in his desire to prove to the world that he's the best, especially when people are saying that Aspinall could possibly be the best ever, I think that's the kind of shish that fires John Jones up. Whether UFC 309 will mark the final chapter of John Jones' legendary career or set the stage for another thrilling heavyweight showdown remains to be seen. Fans and analysts alike will be watching closely to see how the fight unfolds and what decisions follow for both Jones and Miocic. Mirab fulfilled his promise of becoming the UFC bantamweight champion after securing a dominant decision victory over Sean O'Malley at UFC 306 Noche in Las Vegas on September 14. The win extended Mirab's impressive winning streak to 11, and handed O'Malley only the second loss of his career. As expected, questions about Mirab's next opponent quickly followed, with Umar Nurmagomedov being a hot topic. Umar, the current number two bantamweight contender and cousin of UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov, recently defeated Corey in a title eliminator bout at UFC on ABC7. Despite this, Mirab dismissed Umar as a worthy title contender. He argued that beating just one top 15 opponent, like Corey, was not enough to earn a shot at the belt. At the post-fight press conference, Mirab stirred controversy with comments about Umar's heritage, claiming that the undefeated Dagestani fighter shouldn't consider himself a true Russian because he hails from Dagestan. This statement quickly drew the ire of Islam Makachev, the UFC lightweight champion and fellow Dagestani fighter, who responded, Mirab lives in America. He has no clue what he's talking about. Dagestan is a part of Russia. He's just playing mind games, but Umar will answer all the questions inside the cage. Following Mirab's victory, Habib's manager, Ali Abdelaziz, hinted on X that a fight between Mirab and Umar was on the horizon, congratulating the Georgian champ but also setting the stage for Umar's challenge. Meanwhile, Usman Nurmagomedov, Umar's brother and Bellator champion, posted a cold message to Mirab. You can run, but you can't hide. Soon Umar will become the undisputed, undefeated bantamweight champion. Rizvan Magomedov, Umar's manager, added fuel to the fire, suggesting that while Mirab might want to avoid Umar, the UFC could force the matchup. He claimed Mirab's reluctance stemmed from fear, calling the fight a stylistic nightmare for the new champion. Even Khabib Nurmagomedov himself got involved before UFC 306, expressing his interest in seeing Mirab win. 
humorously referencing the traditional Caucasus Papaka hats worn by fighters from the region. Mirab, on the other hand, remains focused on a different potential opponent, former flyweight champion Davison Figueredo. He justified his choice, saying, Figueredo is a former champion, and he has a big name. He deserves a shot, Umar has only beaten one top guy, why does he deserve to fight for the belt? With both camps trading words, it seems that a clash between Mirab and Umar Nurmagomedov is inevitable, with the stakes and emotions running high in what promises to be an explosive matchup. UFC welterweight champion Bilal Muhammad has shed light on a surprising altercation that took place between him and former titleholder Kamaru Usman during a recent appearance on Usman's podcast, which is co-hosted by former UFC champion Henry Cejudo. This physical clash came after weeks of rising tensions and verbal jabs exchanged between the two on social media. Their rivalry has intensified, despite Usman currently being on a three-fight losing streak, and Muhammad riding high after his career best win over Leon Edwards at UFC 304 in July 2024, where he secured the UFC welterweight championship with a unanimous decision victory. Muhammad, who hasn't suffered a defeat since 2019, had been brought onto the podcast as a guest, but things quickly escalated. On his podcast, Remember the Show, Muhammad detailed the encounter, describing how the tension spilled over from words to a near-physical confrontation. He said that during their conversation, he felt he had gotten under Usman's skin to the point where the former champ couldn't handle the verbal back and forth. They're all looking up, I saw on a podcast with Umar Nurmagomedov and Kamaru Usman on that podcast that kind of sucks. He said, I'm the man in charge, Muhammad explained. It was funny to see. That podcast kind of sucks, but they do have some good guests on there, right? We made an appearance on there, it was fun. I'm hoping they bring out the episode." Muhammad continued by describing the intensity of the exchange, suggesting that he verbally outmaneuvered Usman. I'll say this, they're not very good at talking, so I think I verbally broke down Usman. I think he got emotionally broken so he tried to get physical. But when you try to get physical with the champion, there's levels to this. The altercation has added a new layer to their growing feud. Despite the physical incident, the episode has yet to be released, and it's unclear whether Usman and Cejudo will make it public. As of this writing, the episode has not surfaced, fueling speculation about how intense the confrontation may have gotten. Usman has lost three consecutive fights but has maintained his presence as a potential title contender. His name has been floated for a shot at Muhammad's welterweight belt, which only increases the stakes in their personal rivalry. Despite this, Muhammad is laser-focused on defending his title and building on his dominant performances, including his submission victory over Leon Edwards. The welterweight division is full of potential challengers for Muhammad's belt, including rising stars like Shafkat Rahmanov, but Muhammad is brimming with confidence. His recent clash with Usman has only heightened the anticipation for his upcoming title defense, no matter who steps into the octagon to face him next. The altercation also raises questions about Usman's mindset. Having once been one of the most dominant champions in UFC history, he now finds himself at a crossroads after three straight losses. Whether this physical altercation was a sign of Usman's frustrations or a renewed fire to climb back to the top, it's clear the former champion isn't ready to fade into the background. With Muhammad's confidence at an all-time high and his new rivalry with Usman reaching new heights, fans are eagerly awaiting what comes next in this brewing conflict. The welterweight champion continues to silence his critics and has now proven that he's not just a champion in the octagon but also capable of handling whatever comes his way outside of it, even from a former champion like Usman. Whether the podcast episode is released or not, this incident has certainly added to the excitement and intrigue surrounding Muhammad's title reign and Usman's quest to return to championship contention. Former UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley has sparked controversy by reversing his acceptance of his defeat to Marab at UFC 306. 
O'Malley lost the title by unanimous decision, as his relentless pace, wrestling, and pressure overwhelmed the elite striker. Initially, O'Malley took the loss graciously, congratulating his opponent and admitting that Marab had bested him. However, within hours of the fight, O'Malley dramatically changed his stance, publicly disputing the judge's decision. He claimed victory on social media and urged fans to rewatch the fight, suggesting that he won three out of the five rounds. During an intense X space, O'Malley declared. The narrative around this fight was I got my back whooped, O'Malley said. I won the first, third, and fifth rounds, and I challenge all you to go rewatch that fight. Rewatch it, turn the commentary off, and tell me I didn't win that fight. He doubled down on his claims by tweeting, and still, undefeated, this reversal came after O'Malley initially seemed at peace with the loss, calling it a learning experience. But in his recent tirade, he insisted that the outcome was wrong, suggesting that biased commentary may have swayed public perception. Marab, meanwhile, has not responded to O'Malley's outburst and remains focused on his next fight, which is likely to be his first title defense against rising star Umar Nurmagomedov. O'Malley, whose star power has grown significantly since he defeated Aljamain Sterling to win the bantamweight title at UFC 292, defended the belt in a high-stakes rematch against Marlon Vera at UFC 299. Unfortunately for the flashy striker, his bout with Marab didn't go as planned, leaving him in a rare position of self-doubt and dispute with the official results. Adding to his challenges, O'Malley is now sidelined due to a serious injury. He is scheduled to undergo surgery to repair a torn labrum, which he revealed was sustained in training ahead of UFC 306. As a result, he will take an extended break from fighting, with no official timeline for his return to the octagon. The layoff presents a new set of difficulties for the former champion, who had been riding a wave of momentum before the fight with Marab. With O'Malley's future uncertain and his injury delaying a potential comeback, the bantamweight division remains in flux. Marab looks to solidify his reign with a title defense, while O'Malley, despite the official loss, has doubled down on his claim to still being the division's best. Fans now wait to see if O'Malley's fighting spirit will lead to a rematch, or if his injury will slow down the momentum he worked so hard to build. Regardless of the outcome, O'Malley remains one of the most polarizing figures in the sport, continuing to captivate mixed martial arts fans with his brash personality and unrelenting self-confidence.